Hello gentlemen, our topic today is the internet and its related terminology. What is this word internet that we now use almost every moment of our lives? It is thousands of connected networks in the world that can share information. So what do you need in order to get access to the internet? You need, first of all, ISP. You need the right equipment and then the right software. ISP is the acronym for the expanded form Internet Service Provider. Let us first look at the big picture, the World ISP. Then we narrow down to the Regional ISP and lastly the Local ISP which through conventional phone lines or digital subscriber lines or cable modem lines provides internet access for both homes and businesses. Secondly, you need the right equipment. Last but not the least is software. The software that lets you view and explore information on the web is called the web browser. There are many popular web browsers, namely Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox, etc. Lately, Firefox seems to be winning the race. So, chewing up the good old Internet Explorer. So, gentlemen, now you have an ISP, you have the right equipment and software. So where do you want to go? The ever popular World Wide Web. WWW consists of a large collection of documents stored on computers around the world. Let us check the popularity of the internet. And uh, this represents bar graphs for each country showing countries with most internet users. China tops the list, followed by USA, Japan, Germany, Britain, France, India, and there are eight more countries represented on the bar graph. A few commonly used terms, web page, a document on the web, website is a collection of web pages, home page, the page that appears each time you start your web browser. These are examples of web pages and you can set any web page of your choice to be your home page. Let us now stop and think. Where is all this information being stored? It's being stored on web servers. A web server is a computer on the internet that stores web pages. And the web server via the internet is connected to many different clients. We do not have our own web server on campus, but our St. Francis High School website is hosted by a company called Educational Networks. Let us now proceed to learn an important acronym URL, Uniform Resource Locator. Almost a sure question on your quiz, gentlemen. URL is simply the web address of any website. We will investigate three different parts of the URL. First of all, 
http colon forward slash forward slash you are very familiar with this you see it all the time as the beginning of a web address http colon is just a method for reading web pages call the protocol now the second part is very important this is the domain name or name of the host computer in this example you can see www.cdc.gov the third part is called the top level organizations or identifier which in the example is the dot gov part let us look at our school website so you see the http colon two forward slashes www.sfhs.net is the domain name and net is the identifier or top level organizations which stands for network there are many other identifiers that are common edu for four year educational institutions org for organizations which are typically non profit com for commercial which is mostly businesses and gov gov for government organizations for your day to day research you use search engines these are programs that search databases gather and report information that contain your search keywords on the left you see many different search engines listed and the bottom right shows a pie chart which indicates that google is the most popular search engine today on most websites you see hyperlinks These are highlighted images or text that connect to other web pages. These help you navigate efficiently jumping from one web page to another. Bookmarks of favorites. This feature helps in spending internet time efficiently. Bookmarks or favorites store addresses or web pages you frequently visit. Click on the bookmarks menu and you will see a add bookmarks option. The page that is open then becomes a bookmark for you. I'm sure all of you have marked headline as a bookmark. History list is also a feature that facilitates your internet navigation it allows you to quickly return to a web page you recently visited under the history menu you can see the list of all the websites i visited so if i want to go back to any of these websites i can just click on it and I will be there. Now gentlemen, turn to your lesson 2 handout and review these terms on page 1. I'm hoping you are now feeling internet savvy. Once you go over your handout, if you have questions, please feel free to let me know. Goodbye.